this is Lady Boule, and I hope you're having a marvelous day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. Thank you so much for your congratulations for my 10,000 subscriber milestone. It's so nice to know that you're appreciated. I appreciate you and I hope to continue to bring videos and content that you would like to see and hear. Well, today we're talking about black men again and the news is good. It's prom season all over America and these pictures showed up on my Facebook page and they were so beautiful and I was just impressed and somewhat amused by them and the extravagance of it all. But I decided to share these pictures with my audience. So take a look. These kids have taken prom night to a whole new level, don't you think? And these young black men of the South knew how to step it up. And shout out to their parents for providing the infrastructure and the foundation for them to know how to reach for something higher and to know how to present themselves in a way that's uniquely theirs, their own style, their own way of doing things and doing it in a very classy, maybe a flamboyant way, but you know that's how we do it sometimes. I love the way they coordinated their outfits 
Back in the day, girls had fancy dresses, but all the boys came in a black tuxedo or black and white tuxedo. But these young men coordinated their outfit with their date's outfit, and I think it's just really cute. I just, I just like it. And shout out to these beautiful young black women that raised their standards so that the men had no choice. Because for the last 10 and probably the last 20 years, a lot of these young black girls in the South have been renting a limousine and going to the prom together without dates. Because, you know, the boys didn't want to dress up or they had too many women. They were trying to juggle too many women so they couldn't just take one to the prom. So the girls just said, okay, fine. We'll go on our own. And I think that was a good strategy for these girls because now, I guess the boys decided they wanted to come to the prom and that they wanted to come with a date rather than just standing on the wall by themselves. You bring a date and then you have a dance party. You don't have to worry about who you're going to dance with. Because women... You know, the way we do it, women will get on the dance floor and start doing all these line dances and they'll start dancing the whole night doing line dances, even the old folks doing that. I happen to know about that. But anyway, I guess they decide I guess the boys decided to step up. That is what they did. And it, and, and they did it in style. It is important that young people learn how to socialize and learn how to treat each other and learn the value of socializing in, a, in an appropriate and proper manner. It's a new day, y'all. It's a new day. We have a new generation of young people who do not feel like losers. They do not act like losers. They do not think like losers. And they definitely don't dress like losers. I am so happy because y'all know how discouraged I've been by this narrative and all this rhetoric on YouTube. All of this negative rhetoric directed at black men and black women. Also, I'm trying to get ahead of these black men, especially the manosphere, that every year during prom season, they'll go and dig up some picture of some ignorant celebrity's son at prom with some white girl. And this is supposed to be a dig at black women. So I thought I would try to jump ahead of them and show these pictures. This is the heart and soul of black America. These are the people that are going to save black America if we're saved. These kids are going to state-of-the-arts high schools. Some of them are going off to college on full-ride academic scholarships or partial scholarships, athletic scholarships, or just going to college because their parents prepared for it. So this is the next level up, and we have to talk about them too. We can't always talk about the losers in black America. Okay, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the video. These kids probably took these pictures with their cell phones, but they're beautiful just the same. And they are as important as anything that's going to come out of Hollywood or New York or Atlanta with these kids out here celebrity in with these white girls. These are our people. This is who we are. And this, I think, is who we should celebrate. Okay. Let me know what you think about the video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.